Mtasia TV. Mtasia TV, why should I see this video? Yes, in this video you will learn how to become an entrepreneur. You can start a business, a company. This is Startup Simplified course. In this video you will learn how to register a private limited, what are the list of documents required, how to decide a company name, that's very important, and verify that chosen name on Ministry of Corporate Affairs, how do you choose a logo, and so you will understand the overall process involved in starting a company. This is Quick Course 3 from Amtasia TV, Startup University, deciding on the name and registration. So, what I must know before getting started. So here are the points you must know while registering a private limited. A minimum of two shareholders and directors for a private limited company is required. And these directors must have a DIN. DIN is Director Identification Number for all the directors. And the directors and shareholders can be the same person. Minimum authorized share capital is rupees 1 lakh. That is a minimum authorized share capital. And then DSC is required, Digital Signature Certificate. For two promoters and one witness is required, uh, the DSC, Digital Certificate. And every private limited company has to have, operate within the framework, you know, that is shareholders to establish at the time of the setup. So that must be available. We'll see further on it. So the framework formally documented in two documents basically. One is MOA, other is AOA. MOA is the Memorandum of Association. AOA is Article of Association. The MOA operates as a charter for the private limited company defining how it transacts with outsiders. Right? MOA explains how the private limited company is going to transact with outsiders and the AOA is going to define the internal rules and regulation of the company. So the article of association is going to define internal rules and regulation of the company. What do you need to apply for registering a startup? So let's see the list of documents required to register a company. Don't worry if you do not have uh, some document it can be done. For example, a digital certificate uh, is not available. It can be applied for and AOA, MOA can be prepared. And let's see one by one proof for uh, PAN card. Of course, uh, both the directors must uh, have an Indian PAN card and the passport of the applicant. So in case, uh, so this can be acting as an ID proof. So passport is required for the applicant. So what else is required? You need address proof. For address proof, you can use driving license or voter's ID card or utility bills. But note that it should not be older than two months and uh, passport you need and the bank statement so any of these bank statement must be attested and if all these applications is complete then in all aspects then the DIN direct identification number is provided immediately so the DIN allotment letter will be sent to the applicants through email so ensure that you have one of these address proof so other than address proof, you need to have below list of documents. One is a latest passport size photo. You need a couple of them. Keep few photos ready, passport size. Copy of your PAN card of the directors with self-attestation. Don't forget to uh, have the self-attestation done. Copy of other card or voter's identity of the directors. And if, if you own the property, then copy of sale deed and electricity bill is sufficient. So, what preparation should I do? So, before we really go to submission, uh, you also need to think about your company name. And for thinking about company name, few aspects you need to consider. One of them is logo. So, though it is not urgent to plan for logo at this point of time, it is necessary that you think through this step while choosing a name uh, for your company. How the chosen company name can result into a good logo? A good logo creates a favorable impression about you and it indicates really your thinking, culture and philosophy of the business. So before finalizing the company name, think through your, the logo for your company too. How should a logo look like? So how should a logo look like? It should look professional, up to date and relevant to the business that you are doing. 
should be readable and very clear. Anybody should be able to notice it, right? Work well on websites, including social media, Facebook or Twitter. It should work well uh, on these social media and websites. Expansion, flexibility should be there. It should be aspirational. And the logo cannot be complex, right? And the logo, you have to choose right number of colors and the right theme for it. Okay, can I verify the name availability? So you can check if company name available for you. Uh, the website is www.mca.gov.in. So this is a Ministry of Corporate Affairs website where you can enter the, the name you want to select uh, and then see if it is available for you or if already somebody is registered it or not. So use the link given and then see if uh, the company name is available or not. That section is check company name and there you are asked to enter the company or LLP name then do the search. So it shows you whether this particular company that you are uh, trying to search is registered already or not. You will also see the DSC services, DIN services, master data, LLP services and e-filing related uh, links uh, left side of the web page. There are some private companies also uh, helps you to check whether the company is registered already in that particular name or not. One example is wakilsearch.com company name search the link is given here. So you can search by entering the company name and then it will show you the related uh, company names that are selected even which are closer to the company name that you are entering here. Okay. How can verify if website is available? Another very important thing that you need to verify is the domain name availability. That is, with your company name, whether this particular domain or a website is blocked by somebody or not. This can be verified by many means. Uh, one of the example is Namecheap, a website where you can search and then register the domain name of your choice. So it is recommended that before you register the company name, uh, on uh, MCA, you also verify whether the domain is taken by somebody or not. It just cost you few hundred rupees to block the domain for you. Okay, anything else to verify? Another important thing that you need to verify whether the name is registered as a trademark in India. Right? This can be done using ipindiaonline.gov.in the link is given here where you can go and then enter if uh, the name is registered as a trademark by any other company till today or not. Okay, anything else to verify? Not just India, you can also verify the trademark exists in USA. The link is tmsearch.uspto.gov. Here you need to go to a, a section called uh, Trademark Electronic Search System and then you mention the the term there and it will show you the uh, related search results. In this video you learned how to register a private limited startup company, list of documents required, how to choose a logo and how do you decide on the company name and how do you verify the chosen name on MCA website and how do you verify the trademark registration if done already on the company name that you are choosing. And you learnt this trademark verification both in India and USA. I hope you learnt overall process involved in starting a company by now. Definitely yes, thank you. I will be glad to subscribe to your channel. So thank you for subscribing to our channel. Please share this video with your friends. See you again.